This is a presentation on the new features within AlphaCam 2016 R1. This presentation will deal with the new Auto Update Material feature. What we're looking at here is an association with previously machined features. If we look at the indicated area we can see we have a lot of fresh air machining where in reality the previous operation would have taken this material out. It's a background process, it creates an STL stock of the material cut from the previous operation to then use in the current operation and subsequent operations. We need to add the setting on the material to allow this to work and also select the setting on the operation when we apply it. And then what we'll see when we've selected both of these and we update the operation is that we'll see a big change in the machining of what is actually being taken out to try and remove as much of this fresh air machining as possible. Let's go and look at these features now within AlphaCam 2016 R1. Looking at the part that we have on screen we can see we have a drilling operation followed by our Z contour roughing operation. If we actually look inside the hole here we can see we've drilled it and then we are actually machining it as well with either Z contour roughing. Let's look at the solid simulation and we'll see this wasted fresh air machining. So the hole's been drilled and then the machining is going in there and actually not doing anything. This is the type of operation where we really want to be getting rid of it, it's not necessary. As I mentioned previously we first need to look at the material setting. So if we find the material and go set as material we can now see we have this option in here, Associate for Auto Update. I'm going to select that and then say OK. And then I'm going to go to the machining operation, right click and edit the operation. And we can now see we have the Auto Update material from previous operations. So I'm going to say OK to that. It's updated the operation. I'm now going to update the drilling that has now invoked an update on the Z contour roughing. Let's update this operation. And we can now see that we've lost this machining inside the hole. And if we run the simulation again, you can see we go straight from the drilling to roughing the outside of the feature. The part we have on the screen now is a little bit more complex. We can see we have some horizontal machining here that's basically taking this main chunk of material out, but we still have these tool paths in fresh air. So if we run the solid simulation, we get to see that working now. So let's speed this up. You can see the material is removed. The Z contour roughing has no concept that that material has gone, so it's still putting in all the roughing cuts thinking that's a solid chunk of material. This is the issue that we need to get rid of. And let's go change our settings as we looked at before. So let's edit the material and pick associate for auto update. And then let's go to our operation and basically edit it to tell it to be looking at the previous operations to auto-update the material. That's now going to calculate the new toolpath, so let's just wait for it to process that. And now we can see the operation has changed drastically. Let's go straight into the solid simulation again. And now we'll come and see that our Z contour roughing is now going straight into actually cutting out the material that is remaining. You can see that's a drastic saving in machining time. 